All right, welcome back everyone. This is Ebony, AKA Fit Mom Diva of Simplicity Health Style. And today we have Brittany with us. How are you, Brittany? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> I am awesome. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to talk to us. She is a lovely lady online that talks to us all about beauty and aesthetics. And I am all about beauty and aesthetics. So I wanna hear what she wants to share with us today when it comes to living our life purpose. So, Brittany, start yes. us off by telling us one motivational quote that really inspires you, something that motivates you and encourages you to consistently show up online as being the light that you are. Well, I would say one of my quotes that is very motivational to me, and this is going to sound super cliche, but it's definitely something that I live by, which is whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And I'm a full believer in that. You just have to keep pushing and moving forward. I've had, <laughs> growing up, I'm only like 24. So getting into the adult stages and just learning about myself and who I am, I've come across different, you know, battles <laughs> that I'm still trying to work through. Um, and I just feel like sometimes you just have to step back realize exactly what you're doing what your purpose is and just keep moving forward um so that's a quote that i definitely live by especially here on social media you can get discouraged very easily and very quickly um so i just have to constantly remind myself that one step back especially on instagram which is super competitive nowadays um and I try to focus not just on my no numbers, but also who I'm targeting, who my audience is, and making sure that they're actually enjoying the content that I'm pushing out. So I would say that's one of my motivational quotes that I try to live by is what doesn't kill you will definitely make you stronger in all my aspects in life, especially um, being in this social media influencer or trying to become a social media influencer. Yes, and it is so easy to fall into the trap of comparing yourself to other people when you're a social media influencer because you will look at other people's fan base or the engagement that they have on their posts or the amount of content that they're putting out and you'll say, man, I should be doing more or this person started at the same time as me and look at all that they've achieved. Exactly. But what I've ten tended to realize when doing that, because I did that at first, but mm -hmm. What I realized is that it really doesn't matter. <laughs> like, what difference does it make how many fans I have on my page as long as the ones that are there are engaged in what I have to say? Because right. at the end of the day, you could have you know 15,000 vanity numbers in one month, but you really only have 50 engaged people of those 15,000. Yeah. My purpose is not to look good for you. My purpose is to make an impact. So right. if I can have a fewer number of people that are really fans, like really into what I'm talking about, they readily share my stuff, they right. readily talk about me, they readily build me up even when I'm not around, that to me means so much more than the vanity numbers that come with social media. Or yeah. looking at the fact that this person did this over here and it looks all beautiful and oh, how did they get this opportunity? Yeah. When in all actuality, they probably went through hell to get there. I'm not about stress, as my brand Simplicity Health Style says. <laughs> so sometimes there's a lot of stress involved with some of these opportunities, and I'm not about that life. <laughs> you'll, if, you're, if you're following me long enough, you'll understand exactly what I mean when I say that. So I've learned to stay in my own lane right. and do what I feel is best and the opportunities that I feel is best for me and just focus on that. And I think that you alleviate a lot of that overwhelm and frustration that could come with comparing yourself to everybody else when really all you need to compare yourself to is the person that you were yesterday. We see that, we see that quote all the time, right? right. Yeah, exactly. No, I completely agree with that, especially when I started out trying to do what I'm doing now and really focus my business on social media and being on that platform. It was just like I constantly found myself comparing myself to others. And instead of seeing success from my own growth, it's just like I'm not getting anywhere. I'm staying stagnant only because I'm too worried about focusing on what other people are doing and other people's success. 
But I've noticed that when I do take a step back and kind of ignore what everyone else is doing, I see that I am starting to become more successful in my own terms of trying to be out there and trying to become an influencer. So you're definitely right about that. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? At the age of 24, I think that you are doing extremely well. <laughs> I am a uh, closer to 40. And I just know that people that are in my age range are not even doing, some of them are not even doing half of right. what you're doing. <laughs> so the yeah. awesome thing about the millennial community is the fact that people are really taking advantage of this worldwide web and yeah. reaching people that we weren't able to do years ago as easily unless you were some big shot, <laughs> you know, it's so easy now to connect with people in other countries that we necessarily wouldn't have been able to. I know that when I ran one of my group programs, one of my very first group programs online, and it was a stress reduction program that I didn't know that half the people in that course were going to be from other countries. <laughs> Until I actually looked at the numbers and I said, wait a minute, almost everybody in this program is from another country. I had somebody in there from Germany, oh, wow. I had somebody in there from Australia, I had somebody in there from Bermuda, I had two people in there from Jamaica, <laughs> and then the other people lived in the U.S. where I live. And it was all because I was able to connect with these people via social media. So we, we could make such a large impact around this world that years ago we weren't able to do. And you doing it as a 24-year-old, it just leaves a lot more room for growth over the course of your lifespan. So just understanding that, like really grasping that concept and just understanding that you're, you're a lot further ahead at your age that you are right now than a whole lot of other people twice your age. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the relish, relish in knowing that. Yeah. <laughs> what would you say to those people that struggle with networking, whether it's online or offline, but they struggle to come out of themselves and to meet like-minded people that can really support their dreams? Because we met online and it was relatively easy for me to connect with you. And here we are today having a conversation. But for some people it's really taking a large step outside of their comfort zone to network and meet like-minded people, particularly in the online world, because they don't know this particular person. <laughs> this is just a random person out there in the World Wide Web. What are yeah. some words of encouragement or some, some tools or resources that you might give to that particular person? Well, I would like to say that you have to just get yourself out there me personally, the person that you see right now has not been me at all <laughs> like a couple years ago. I've always been very shy, very to myself, and not one to actually go to someone else to even try to start a conversation. I would say I was very socially awkward, and that was until like I started you know, doing my online thing and starting off with YouTube. Um, I feel like YouTube has really helped me get out there and really try to um, really change the way I see things and not be so afraid to approach people. Mm -hmm. And I would say just really what you have to do is just try to step outside of your comfort zone, to be honest, because that's the only way that you're going to see growth. You're not going to see growth if you're just staying in the same place. If mm -hmm. you don't have that support system or you just don't know like where to start or what to do, start off small. Um, like try, if you have a web camera, talk to yourself in the web camera. If you have a mirror, talk to yourself in the mirror every day by encouraging yourself <laughs> um, because that does, it helps a lot. Um, and then also, if you see someone on like Instagram, I'm pretty sure everybody has an Instagram or a Snapchat. <laughs> if you see something that you like, leave a comment. Like, mm -hmm. put yourself out there is what honestly you have to do. And that's what I did. And like I said, I'm not that same person <laughs> I was a couple of years ago. And it has really helped me outside of um, the web. 
outside of the internet as well, I'm now actually able to approach people in person and actually start a conversation. And I feel like that's a really great thing about the internet nowadays is that you're able to get outside of your comfort zone and really start relationships with people. Because even one of my best friends now, I met her through Instagram by doing collaboration. So you just really have to get yourself out there and don't be afraid of what other people think or what other people may say about you. <laughs> Yes, and the more you do it, the easier it gets. Right. I don't always remember being someone that would just make a video and post it online. I mean, <laughs> it wasn't what I naturally grew up doing. Like, I have a 12-year-old son and a 9-year-old daughter currently. And for them, growing up in this world of technology where you create videos online and share them with your friends and snap pictures and share them with your friends that's like their reality and, yeah. and it's looked at as such a natural thing like there's no camera shyness <laughs> as a matter of fact it's almost like if you're in their peer group and you're not doing it something's wrong with you you know so that's the world that they're growing up in but I didn't grow up in that world. <laughs> I mean, it was not until I started with my online presence as an entrepreneur that I started creating videos and then putting them out for the public to see. Right. Doing things like this was definitely not something natural. <laughs> so it, it's something that you, you just do it. And the more you do it, the more natural it becomes. Like for me, this is as easy as me you know, having a conversation with someone in person or yeah. me to approach somebody on social media is just as natural or even more natural sometimes than me striking up a conversation with somebody in person. <laughs> you know, it's, it's something that you just kind of grow into and the kinds of relationships that, that can flourish and develop from being outgoing in that way is tremendous. Some of the people that I've met online have been able to help me in my business much more than me staying a recluse and just doing a Google search, <laughs> you know? Yeah, so absolutely. I totally, I totally agree. I totally agree with your, uh, with your tips that you suggest as well. Just uh, if it seems difficult, just talking to yourself in the mirror or setting up your webcam and talking to yourself that way just to get more comfortable with the whole idea of putting yourself out there. That's, that's an awesome way to begin doing it without experiencing that overwhelming fear that right. sometimes you'll experience. You know those times when, when you do something and you're like so fearful about doing it, it, it yeah. totally frightens you that you just never want to do it again. Right. <laughs> so transitioning into it, taking baby steps, Yep. Like that, like the approaches that you just shared, I think is very, very significant. Yes, definitely. And also like even the same tips that I mentioned today, I give to my friends all the time because they always ask me, how do you start a YouTube channel? Like, how did you get over the fear of being camera shy or actually talking to camera? Because when I do it, I'm like completely scared. I hate how my voice sounds this, that, and I'm in the third, and I'm like, you just have to do it, like, yeah. even if you don't upload that first video, just getting in front of the camera, getting used to it will really help you, and maybe one day you'll actually get the courage to upload that one video that one day, so yes. <laughs> that's definitely what I use, and I tell my friends all the time. Yes, and also, understanding that social media is not going anywhere. <laughs> Once you realize that social media is not going anywhere, yeah. you kind of say, well, maybe I should take full advantage of this space and yeah. put myself out there knowing that I can make connections that's going to help me live out my life purpose and do it in a more e efficient way. Because um, you tend to think that, well, I'll just stay right here in my comfort zone and then when you're not making the type of progress that you would like to see, you could be stopping yourself because your network isn't large enough. And it's yeah. not large enough with the right types of positive-minded people. Mm -hmm. You can't very well do a whole lot when it's just you by yourself. <laughs> you can't very well do a whole lot when it's just you and your two friends that happen to live in your same city. You can yeah. make so much more impact when you extend yourself to the larger community. 
Yeah, I completely, completely agree with that, for sure. What are what are some of your next steps with your social media presence? And can you talk a little bit about what your initial intention was and what you try to convey with your social media presence, particularly on Instagram, since that's where you hang out the most? Right. Um, well, when I first started, I first started off on YouTube and I always envisioned myself being like big and like touching um, a certain group and like really teaching all about beauty and whatnot. But I really didn't know exactly what my specific niche was or how I wanted to go about really, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but really teaching others about makeup and how to apply makeup and what have you. It wasn't until recently I started getting into the blogger game and I kind of left, in, not Instagram, but YouTube kind of aside and really started getting into blogging and then Instagram because that's where I saw the most growth. That's where I saw the most um, opportunities being presented to me, um, trying to become an influencer, especially because I don't have a numbers, but engagement is definitely really important when you are trying to get on Instagram. Um, it's very important to stay, especially with how social media is going nowadays. You definitely have to do your research. It's almost like a second job, definitely a full-time job at that. Um, but Instagram is forever changing with everything, how they do things and how you can get seen. Mm -hmm. um, so what I've been doing is just trying to narrow down my specific target instead of just being beauty, lifestyle, fashion, I kind of narrowed it down to more fat, um, beauty and lifestyle. So I always do like my beauty posts on my Instagram. And then I also do um, quotes of the day so that I'm encouraging people and I'm kind of helping people, whoever is having like a bad week or a bad day, they can always come to my page and see like that one quote that they can relate to. And it's like, oh, that is so true, and that relates to me, like, this is going to get me going, this is pumping me up to really make my week fulfilled and reach my goals that I have set for myself. Um, so I would just say really having that specific niche and really focusing on your target audience as far as what you want to do and your online presence, whether it's with Instagram, YouTube, or what have you. Um, because like you said, social media isn't going anywhere. And if anything, the time is now to really, you know, start whatever it is that you're trying to do. If you're trying to be an influencer or what have you, definitely start doing it now. Yeah. <laughs> um, because it's, it's growing and things are definitely changing very fast. <laughs> yes, and people are waiting for what you have to share in the world. I think too many people minimize what their talents and skills are. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, there could be somebody out there that needs exactly what you have to share in this world. And you're holding back and you're also holding them back too <laughs> because they need what you have and you're saying oh gosh i'm too afraid to put myself out there well what if they think this and what if this happens and none of those things usually ever even happen <laughs> no that's true <laughs> i want for people to continue to follow you along your journey yeah. And for those of you that are interested in joining a community of like-minded women, please check out the description box. I have a link for my Facebook group. It's called Nutrition, the number four, Busy Women. We do not talk about nutrition from just a food consumption standpoint. We're talking about nutrition for the mind, body, and soul. So if you can't find any other space online, or if you would like to work with me and helping you to discover what your life purpose is, help you with your career development, while also helping you to live a whole and healthy lifestyle, please reach out to me and you'll get a complimentary gift as appreciation from me for joining us. I also want for any of you that have a success story or challenges that you want to share, that you put yourself out there by connecting with me so that I can have you on the show to help empower women. 
these episodes that I do are not so that we can look good on camera. <laughs> these episodes are specifically for the purpose of impacting and empowering women all around the world. And sometimes women need to know that they're not all alone in their specific struggles. So yeah. if you have a success story and challenges that you want to share, I encourage you to reach out to me and I encourage you to continue to follow both Brittany and I. Brittany, what would you like to encourage us with as closing words? Um, honestly, just keep pushing, keep reaching for whatever um, goals you're trying to reach. Don't worry about any other success. You create your own success story and everyone's success is different. So honestly, just focus on yourself, focus on your goals, focus on your dream, and they will come true. It's just hard work um, and definitely staying determined and dedicated to getting what you want done because no one else can do what can, no one else can do for you than what you can do for yourself. So just keep moving forward and getting your goals accomplished. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much. Keep going forward, you guys. That's all you could do is to keep going forward. Once you stop, you stall everything else that can be achieved by you putting yourself out there and believing in yourself. So keep believing in yourself. Keep putting yourself out there. Even when you're not always motivated, find those people, as I mentioned in my Facebook group or other communities online that can push you when you're down in the dumps and you feel like nothing I'm doing is working and I'm stuck. We've all been there. If you follow my blog articles, if you follow my content, I'll talk about experiences that I've been in as well, where I felt like I was stuck, where I felt like I wasn't motivated. I didn't feel like pushing forward, but because I did, I've achieved so much more success than if I had stopped myself. So right. Brittany's exactly right. Keep pushing forward and you will, at the end of the day, make some headway. You guys, thank you so much for listening. And I look forward to connecting with you in my future episodes. Share this content out to anyone that you feel that could benefit from learning from positive-minded women. You guys have an awesome rest of the day wherever you are in the world. And I'll talk to you soon.